Hello traders, uh, very good afternoon and uh, I'm back from my break, short break which I had. So uh, let me start today's episode. So this is episode 66 of the post market analysis by trade education. And before I share today's analysis, just to give you a quick disclaimer that trading involves substantial risk and is not suitable for everyone. Also, whatever information I'm sharing is for educational purposes only and cannot be used for any trade related activity. So with that, let's quickly look at, uh, you know, let me quickly share my screen and uh, let's see how the auction developed today. First, let me jump to the daily chart. And uh, so I was on leave from, uh, was on leave from uh, 16th to you know, 19th uh, Jan and, you know, <coughs> and overall, uh, you know, what is, uh, what is happening is if you see the 20 EMA is acting as a level of support and today is where you know the auction halted and uh, what was happening is uh, the auction was you know sort of trading in a sort of a balance so this is the balance you know which it was trading and uh, one of the visual references you know which I can see is, is you know the sellers were trying multiple times to you know come in and you know short the market that's why you know we are having this uh, sort of auction is developing. Okay. So the all-time high was you know one of the reference areas which I had kept, and uh, and uh, from the uh, from the uh, you know this uh, sideways balance on the uh, say the balance started on the 13th of Jan. And what was happening is I was seeing that you know first the high should be taken out and maybe then the 20 EMA somewhere around here is where you know the support will come in so that is what you know i was uh, i was uh, having the thought process you know which i had okay. so th that is what you know i was looking at today i was not able to take any trades uh, uh, you know uh, as i was i was out of office and i had a couple of a lot of pending works which i was fin finishing up so that's why i was not able to trade but uh, today if someone traded uh, you know uh, I would say it would have been one of the most, uh, one of those days where, you know, I think which comes every month where, you know, you can make a lot of money. So the, that was today. So this is the four day balance, you know, which I was talking of. And, uh, and this is the level where, you know, the, so this is one level, this is the second level, this is the third level where, you know, the sellers try to step in. Okay. So. This made the, so this, uh, these are all the uh, weaker or, you know, I would say the weakness was seen from the selling side. Okay. So this, because this is a visual reference, which I am seeing. Okay. So this was, this, there was a weakness, which was seen on the selling side. Uh, and, uh, you know, plus uh, on uh, 15th of Jan, uh, you know, there was overload. So that was another reference or data point you know which I was looking at okay so this is what I was looking at so let me just quickly see uh, let me just quickly first maximize the chart and I'll, I'll you know share where the open is of today okay. so one of the point of references which I had was this overload and you know all the structured highs okay. so if you see the option is getting rejected right at the open okay so what i was expecting you was to you know go higher and then maybe come in within the range but this was not happening so right from the open you know what we have seen is that the option is getting rejected so then my immediate reference point shifted to here okay that is at the 17th of jan low okay so one of the reference areas which you have kept is uh, this level once uh, this level is crossed, that would have given you that, you know, the selling confidence is increasing. We are seeing a lot of high selling confidence and you could have taken a shot with the target of, uh, with the target of the 20 yen, which was something around 12 to 60 levels. Okay. So, uh, this would have been a pretty good move. Uh, so, would have been uh, made you about, uh, so if you got it somewhere here and exited somewhere. Yeah, so this was a good 72 points move and uh, and you know if you see there was also a retest if you see this is the retest of okay. 
So this was a retest wherein the sellers again tried to step in at yesterday's low. Okay. So this was a good trade location where you know you could have shot it. Uh, just uh, forget this, forget the B period. Okay. So the uh, this should be your reference level, and uh, the B period is you know the, so the D period is is you know a retest, and that's where you know you could have taken a shot, keeping your stop loss maybe here you know, at the B period high, and you know you could have made uh, you could have you know uh, gained from this. So this was one good trade location you know which I was able, to, which was you know which I'm able to spot from today's auction. Now looking at the today's auction, you know what we are seeing is something sort of a inventory adjustment break because what was happening is you know we are we were sort of trading in a balance so whenever the auction was going down okay so buyers were started to step in okay. so today what we are seeing is you know that a sort of inventory adjustment break wherein there is a shakeout of the weaker buyers okay and tomorrow what i'm expecting is a sort of reversal and uh, first of all you know to clear uh, so let me redraw it again first so what i'm expecting is a reversal and also to clear, clear, you know, this single print zones, not this one, but maybe, but yeah, maybe clear all the single print zones, clearing all this multiple anomalies for, you know, what I'm expecting. So higher the odds, which I'm seeing that, you know, it will, I'll try to see the option which is coming higher. Uh, if it's not, then maybe the, the second scenario, which I'm seeing is that it should go down below and find more uh, and find and try to find more. Uh, more uh, buyers because auction always goes down to find buyers and auction always goes up to find the sellers as per the auction market theory. Okay. So uh, there was also one of one good trade location which I was able to spot from the uh, volume profile chart and this is you know this is what I was looking at. So this is nothing but uh, the balance from uh, the uh, 13th of January to 17th of January. Okay. And uh, what I was looking at is uh, at this level. So I was actually looking at the volume point of control. Okay. So this is a this is a 15 minute chart of this continuous contract. And you know this this gave me a sort of a confirmation. So I, when I was looking at that time, the uh, the index was uh, you know uh, trading around 12 uh, 350. Okay. And uh, and uh, you know, say 12 to 50 and you know, 12 uh, 45. So, this was the range, you know, which it was trading. Okay, so this is what I was looking at. And uh, and once the auction, once the auction went below the point of control, this gave me added confirmation wherein uh, my first target was the volume area low, and the second target was this uh, all time or you know, the balance. So this was another trade location which I was able to found, uh, I was able to spot, but I was not able to trade today because I was continuously in calls since uh, 2 p.m. So what I was doing is, uh, so I, I use a different laptop for my office purpose and a different laptop for my trading purpose. So I was just looking at this and on other laptop, I was just uh, conducting my work. Yeah. Anyways, uh, there's always, there's always a new day or another day. But yeah, so these, this is, you know, what I'm seeing, uh, the auction which is getting developed. Uh, from the daily chart, you know, one visual reference is that it is stopped at the uh, 20 EMA. Otherwise, where is 20? Okay. I'll enable the, uh, I'll enable the price marker so that, you know, we know that where is the 20 EMA. So if you see this is the 20 EMA and that's where the auction has stopped. Okay. So tomorrow what can happen is uh, so what can happen is either we'll see a reversal or you know we'll be seeing a sort of continuation. Continuation should be expected but if we don't see this you know, reversal is you know what I'm looking at. Now, uh, from volume perspective also, volumes are pretty good compared to, you know, last three days, you know, which you are seeing. Okay, so volumes were pretty less, volumes are going pretty less.
I shared the volume profile and now let me jump to the bank nifty chart and you, know, you can clearly see so for a second price marker 100 and 20 okay so so first of all the 20 AM is acting as a level of resistance plus uh, if you draw a trend line this is sort of a trend line so bank nifty is already showing some clear sign of weakness is that the option will go below so what i'm expecting is so today was a sort of a big uh, big uh, you know downfall uh, you know so last point of reference which goes is similar is over 31000 levels is where i'm seeing the buyers will be coming in second level which i'm seeing is at this and the third reference level which i'm able to spot is this level the 200 uh, 200 uh, ema okay so these are the three uh, levels of support which I'm seeing in Bank Nifty, and uh, Nifty is already getting rejected from the all-time highs, whereas Bank Nifty is nowhere near there. Uh, plus, I shared, uh, you know, so there is this gap, so this gap has been filled, and uh, you know, today we are seeing a, a sort of an outside day. So, yeah, so I was saying is a sort sort of an outside day. So shelling out both the uh, trap, so I would say selling out both the sellers and the buyers, okay. Plus uh, the volumes are also confirming, so that is a good sign. Let me just quickly jump to the market profile chart. And uh, what I'm seeing is, uh, so this is the option of bank. So some of the references which I had was, first of all, this, uh, this G2 high, second was yesterday's high, okay. third was, you know, yesterday's low. So these were the three reference levels and what happened is uh, if you see today's open so today's open was outside the yesterday's range and it immediately entered the yesterday's range okay so this if you see a period is pretty it was pretty sharp down move okay so i was immediately my reference shifted to the yesterday's low and in the c period is where you know you will get a trade location so b period tried to move in and then the c period format was again sure it again there was a sort of rejection which was seen okay so in c period is where you know you could have shorted uh, with your target uh, so come to back what would be the target so the first target would be first target would be this level let me let me draw it the first target and this is the second target okay. so these are the two targets, uh, you know, which I'm seeing in, in Bank Nifty. Okay, so this is the first target, that is nothing but the point of control, and this is the third, third, second target. That is so. All this has been cleared. So this indicates that you know, again, sellers today are in the overall option, and uh, a lot of uh, the the lot of uh, structures. Uh, so from the structural point of view, if you see, there are a lot of uh, single prints. A lot of single prints so we have this big uh, this big uh, selling zone the single print zone plus uh, you know multiple areas where uh, you know uh, the, so the structure is very poor so again a sort of a inventory adjustment break or i would say you know the sellers they dominated today the entire day now it's turn for buyers to again you know come in step in and you know take the option high so yeah so from the volume profile, I, I didn't see Bank Nifty as I was looking at Nifty only. Now uh, coming to Reliance, so, so there is still that data issues. My data is not getting updated. So from 5th uh, November, so for two months, you know, the data is not coming up. So one of the important references which I always shared was uh, was this gap. So this gap is, you know, what I always shared. I was looking for it to get filled. And you know, so this got filled today, wherein the open was around the gap. And if you check my previous videos, you know, what I shared is once this gap is filled, again, sellers will start to step in. And then, you know, this will be a good trade location to go for a short trade. And you know, this is the trade location. This is, you know, what I was looking for since last, I think, uh, 10 days. And this is what happened. So sellers were pretty active. Uh, sellers were pretty active as this gap got filled. And today, right in the A period, you know, we filled the, you know, 
cleared so it cleared the gap so earlier earlier this was the gap now the gap was filled with him the gap okay. as uh, e period show a clear rejection plus uh, plus if you see uh, the reference levels okay and the point of contrast these were the three reference levels and uh, one good trade location which i'm able to spot is in the e period when it went below the yesterday's point of contrast okay so you can have shorted here with your first target here and the second target of the prominent point of contrast okay. so this is what you know currently i'm seeing clients and now let me uh, quickly jump to the crude oil chart so uh, crude oil is again you know, so crude oil is amazing uh, you know so are you let me just say are you able to find any level of support where you know buyers are stepping in so if not then you know one of the area support which i always share is the 200 ema 200 uh, moving average is you know very powerful see multiple times you know it touched you know so the the auction so this is where you know the buyers have started to step in and right now you know they are taking the auction higher okay so what i'm expecting is it to first touch the 20 ema then to see whether we are seeing any continuation to the higher side or whether we are seeing any balancing or whether we are seeing continuation to the lower side okay so this is you know what i'm seeing in crude and right now uh, so right in the morning uh, what is happening is uh, so some of the important reference was you know the us session high us session low okay and the point of control okay so first a uh, point of reference was you know this uh, so the a period you know if you see it was immediately rejected from the point of control so your first target should be yesterday's high and then right now it is entering again within yesterday's range so you could have taken a short position with your first target of you know the point of control and the second target of the uh, of the uh, yesterday's uh, us session low okay uh plus there are some weakness weaker references you can able to spot uh, so that's fine so what i suggest is uh, you can go for a short keep your stop loss at this level because there is a sort of a retest you know which i'm seeing good oil and then uh, you know uh, the, this is the uh, this is your this is your first target this is will be your second okay so this is what uh, you know i'm seeing uh, in uh, in, uh, in crude oil and uh, uh, with that uh, you know i would like to thank you and would request you to please do like subscribe and press the bell icon uh, to stay tuned for the new videos you know which i am which i am posting so that you get notified immediately and uh, do let me know in your comments uh, if you are able to if i am able to help you uh, to dissect or you know to analyze the current option okay. so with that uh, i would like to thank you again and uh, let's connect again tomorrow uh, great uh, thank you and yeah bye